Hello guys, I just wanted to do a first impressions video of the brand new uh, John Petrucci signature picks as well as the Andy James signature picks, the um, Dunlop Flow guitar picks that have only just come out, well they only just come out a couple of days ago here in the UK. Um, I had a hell of a job actually getting these guitar picks because I originally pre-ordered them on Amazon and Amazon couldn't get the stock so I had to go to an, another website, uh, stringsdirect.com. What sparked me wanting to do this video, just real quick before I get into the first impressions, was I only just recently switched over to the Jazz 3 XL picks and I was quite surprised at how much of an improvement they made to my sound and the accuracy of my playing. The picks I've been using for years are the uh, Jim Dunlop, just standard 1mm guitar picks. Um, I thought they were decent enough so I was using them for ages, never questioned the tone or their accuracy and um, yeah I used them for ages and it's only actually comparing them to these picks now I can actually see and feel the difference. I was quite, like I said, I was quite surprised at the difference just the Jazz 3 made to my tone. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the opening of these guitar picks. I've never actually, t I've had these for a few days now, I've only just been able to record this and I've never actually opened it so I'm actually quite looking forward to it. Well, immediately I can feel a difference in the texture of the pick. Already it feels, I don't know, just, I wouldn't say smoother, it just feels more, more grippy in the hands. It feels like it's not going to slip anywhere. One thing I have noticed straight away is that the edges, even though in the in all the videos it's online and the pictures it shows that it's a beveled edge. Uh, just using the Jazz 3 XL as an example, hopefully we will see in the video, is even the Jazz 3, has a an extra bit of plastic around the edges that is evident of like a, a mold or a press which is obviously how the guitar picks are made they're obviously just made on mass like a, either mold injected or pressed and no these are going to be the same it's just they're obviously a bit more refined than the jazz three picks but you can see there's a little bit extra bit of plastic like just like a thin strip almost like an edge extra edge to the edge of the pick on the Jazz 3s that isn't there on the Flow Picks, which um, even, even without trying it just yet, I can imagine would actually give a difference to the tone already. On my trusty hat, my headphones so I can actually hear what I'm playing. I'm just going to play some riffs. Um, there are videos out there focusing on the lead playing, but I'm primarily a rhythm player, even though I've got a John Petrucci signature. I don't consider my lead playing very good enough to show off in a video anyway. So I'm going to mostly just play some riffs, some some improvised, some metallic or whatever, just so you can get, hopefully, an idea of the sound you can expect from at least using the picks. I'm going to have the sound coming in as it is, straight, straight from the recording. It's not going to be compressed or anything. It's just going to be raw audio from my recording. Thank you. 
Wow. That really does make shredding so much more effortless. Now I can see why it's called flow. say I'm, I'm actually genuinely surprised at how this pick performs I and mean, obviously the how well it performs is going to be on your own individual um, ability to play but yeah I can definitely just switch in straight from the Jazz 3XL uh, just straight to the John Petrucci uh, signature pick I can feel the difference already I mostly noticed it I must admit I mostly noticed it when playing a faster run on it does seem to just flow from string to string, mostly noticing it on the upstrokes. Yeah, definitely impressed. Definitely. Well worth the money in my opinion. And they ain't cheap picks either. Like for a set of three in the UK they cost um six ninety nine. I'm just gonna open the Andy James pack real quick. If I can open anything real quick. Okay, so the only difference between these two picks is the Andy James one is slightly larger, which I'll show in the video real, as best as I can. I mean, other than personal preference, I can't imagine that affecting anyone's playing too, too drastically. I mean, it's definitely noticeable in the hand. The Andy James pick feels wider. <laughs> So if you like the larger picks, then maybe go for the Andy James one if you wanted to go for a signature pick. So I think the flow picks, they're pretty bog, I am going to say bog standard. But as far as I'm aware, the flow picks, are, they have standard flow picks. They don't have to have the signature names on them. Um, I just bought these because they've only just come out. But and the actual the, the standard flow pick as opposed to signature pick there's not much price difference so i thought i'd go for these instead as far as the, the flow pick goes i mean you, you can get the uh 1.5 mil version if you don't like the 2 mil but you can get a 2 mil standard as well without any um branding on it other than the dunlop logo but i don't mind the branding because I'm, I'm a john petrucci fan obviously i've got one of his guitars I don't know if I mentioned before at the start of the video, I don't think I did, um, the, but the flow picks, they're made from Altex, which is a bit harder, a bit more hard wearing than the standard plastic, which is what, um, as far as I'm aware, which is what the Jazz 3s are made of. I think they're made of standard plastic. It doesn't say so on branding, uh, but I know the picks I've been using for years are standard Dunlop 1mm picks. They're made of just standard plastic. And now when I look back at them compared to these other picks, they look really cheap and nasty by comparison. So yeah, I'm glad I made the, the switch. Definitely impressed and definitely happy. All in all, the Andy James and John Petrucci signature picks, quite impressed. I usually stuck, used to stick away from signature picks because I was, uh, who do you watch it? It just used to be a box standard pick with someone else's initials on it, so I never used to bother with them. But these there is a massive difference. I mean, again, you can get the, the flow picks without having the branding on them. I'll be sticking with these. Final verdict, first impressions of these picks. Definitely impressed. I definitely recommend anyone who's looking to try a different pick or looking to improve their tone just a little bit because I feel that even just rhythm playing, which is what I primarily do, these picks will make a difference. Because I mostly noticed it on the upstroke when I was playing that fast line that it just seems to flow naturally through the strings, <laughs> hence the name. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this video informative and interesting. Um, if you like what I have to offer when it comes to guitar picks, I'll be making another video on covering all the picks that I've used in the past and which ones will probably be better for you if you're looking to try something different other than just a one mil pick, which is what I've been using for ages. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in future uploads. Cheers guys, see you soon.